I hope you enjoyed my little uh, fun video about golf. I find that um, being uh, versatile in your life is the most important thing. I'm not just about real estate. I've got many opinions about many things and I spend a lot of my time talking to my realtors about everything but real estate. And, uh, and I hope that, uh, that that works for you too because really if your life is just a single direction, probably not having as much fun as you can. In any case, I do want to talk about uh, another issue today that uh, I know is on top of mind at this time of year, and that is holidays. I mean, everybody wants to go on holidays, take a few days here, a few days there, but how do you manage your business while you're on holidays? It's a difficult thing to do, and it's a tough, tough question. Well, I'll give you a little bit of insight, and of course, I don't have all the answers, but at the end of the day, I think that... Uh, a little direction helps and, and goes a long way. Firstly, and most importantly, you've got to choose somebody that you trust because that will be the foundation for how things are going to come together. If it's not somebody, if it's somebody that you really don't know too much about or don't really trust, well, you know, how do you know that they're going to, in fact, handle the clients the way you want them to be handled? I mean, it's just, you know, and there's a number of other uh, things that come up. So it's got to be somebody you trust. And, and do you pick your friend? Do you pick your friend? Or do you pick the person um, that's, that you see as the best person to do the job, who might not be your friend, but might just be an acquaintance in the office that uh, is willing to, uh, willing to do it? So that's maybe the first step, is who do you pick? Um, I tend to uh, direct people to pick the people that they know and trust, and that's usually their friends. And sometimes their friends are not that great at, uh, at what they do, or not as good as, as they are. But in the end, I think that it probably makes um, problem solving a little easier, because you do get along. So that's one direction I would, I would get. Um, the other area um, that, that needs to be uh, detailed and written out is an agreement. You only have to do it once. You write down the scenarios that you can think of, and believe you me, you will not think of all the scenarios that are going to come up. But you write down the basic ones, you illustrate exactly what the percentage of commission splitting is going to be in each one of those cases, and then you sign it, both of you. You know, it sounds like, oh, you know, like, why do we need to do that amongst friends? Well, it's those kinds of uh, agreements, signed agreements, that maintain friendship. They don't destroy friendship. It's non-signed agreements or no agreements at all that destroy friendship because it's inevitable. Something's going to happen that you didn't plan for and somebody's going to have to do a little extra work and they're going to feel like they need to be compensated a little bit more than, than what you had initially said. So if you have something in writing, then, then there's a base to work from. So that's like probably the second most important thing. Thirdly, do you take your calls or do you not take your calls? So you may leave existing clients with somebody in the office, but uh, maybe you want to handle all your new clients as they come in or you've got an ad campaign going um, and, and you'd like to handle them yourself. Well, it's a personal preference. In some cases, uh, you do handle your calls. In other cases, it would be um, non-productive to handle your calls. And an example might be, well, you're away for three or four days in Vegas. Yeah, Vegas is a fun place. Um, well, you might take your calls. I mean, you could probably handle things. You've got 24 hours, 48 hours as a maximum amount of time at any given point that you can get information and get in contact with your client. Um, so maybe in that case, you take your calls. You're going away to South America for a week and a half or two weeks. Probably not a good idea to take your calls because they're going to be mishandled. Uh, just technology um, doesn't necessarily work the way that it should when you really need it to from time to time. So I think you need to weigh those issues out and, uh, and, have, and, and have a uh, definite plan. Because I don't believe that you should be single-minded 
and think, well, I'll go away when it's not busy. Well, if that's what you like to do, then great. But why shouldn't you go away for two or three days after you've worked for 15 days straight, sold 10 houses, and you need a break? Well, you're thinking, wow, you know, I'm going to lose business. So I think if you have the right plan in place, then you can go away. And in my opinion, that's just as important as the work you're going to do. So there's some tips, and those are suggestions I would give my realtors, and um, hopefully they work for you. Once again, make our team work. Well. Run them like run them, run them.